Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Dr. George Saramuga coming to you on Wednesday, May 20th, day four of our Mindful Moments. Would you think about those crickets in the smile, breathe, love? Are you convinced those three words are going to change the world? This just helps us be grounded. We're open to change. We calm our mind, relax our body, renew our spirit. And love never fails. We wrap everything in love, the person, persons, the situation. And we give it to God. It's his anyway. And we don't take it back. Today, we're going to do the progressive muscle relaxation, kind of relaxing from our toes all the way up to our body. We'll begin with four, seven, eight breathing exercise. You get to hear the crickets again. And nature, getting back into nature. So let me go ahead and go over the four, seven, eight breathing exercise. And then that will take us right into our daily devotion. And then we'll set up tomorrow's agenda, what we're going to have for you as well. All right. So four, seven, eight. I like to bring my arms up over my head when I do this. So we take a breath in over four, hold it for seven, and slowly let it out for eight. And for all these videos on the meditation, I use that four, seven, eight breathing technique. You can use inhale, love, exhale, gratitude. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I trust you. Whatever mantra you want to use to help you on your journey, to be grounded, to feel fully alive. Remember, feel fully alive, mind, body, spirit, find peace in the present moment, and lead with love, leaving with the, with the creator. Okay, so four, seven, eight, breath is in. Over four, two, three, four hands up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, always a smile, and out, down heart center for eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's another great grounding exercise, folks. So let's, you're grounding for this morning, and let's talk about our devotion. Our devotion today is coming from Luke. Teacher, you have answered well. You know, there's a times when we have to try to relate to people, either our cohorts or patients or co-workers. Sometimes that can be a challenge. And Jesus had that challenge, chapter 20 of Luke, with the Sadducees who didn't believe in the resurrection. But he drew back on passages in Exodus, which they were familiar with, that they affirmed, and this was successful for him. And this gave them, or him, legitimacy because they were able to affirm this. So how can we bring people together when we have conflict? First, smile. We're open. We're engageable. Engage in prayer. Prayer, remember, the best medicine for physical, mental, and our spiritual health. And... All of us desire to love and to be loved. And so we can just diffuse that tension with prayer, the smile, we're at peace, we let our light shine. That common ground is love. That connects all that is good. Remember the medicine wheel, the mind, body, the spirit. All people coming together. That's Crazy Horse's seventh generation prophecy under that sacred tree, led by the Red Nation. It's, gonna, it's a beautiful time. We're living in that seventh generation now. So always trying to increase our dialogue, making positive connections, growing closer to the Lord. Because as we reach out in love, we reach out with the Creator. All life and healing begins with Him, and that's how we make a difference. We never stop trying. Each day is a new beginning, and staying in the present moment, remember that's our gift. Tomorrow, we're going to bring to you an energy healing, a Reiki, self-care technique, eight different posi positions on our body, and we, allow to, we can move our energy through our bodies. We've been given that ability. Remember, the body is self-healing, self-regulating. That's one of our osteopathic tenets as the, in the osteopathic profession, is structure, function, relationships. The body is amazing ability to heal itself. And so we're going to capitalize on everything the Creator has given us to be able to heal ourselves. God commissioned me to heal you. And we have to believe that as well. It's that 
the creator's model of healthcare, which we're going to talk about more here in a few sessions, is where we need to go. And this is what the pandemic has, has, has been able to do, is shift the tide going back to the creator's model of healthcare with love. Unconditioned love is the greatest healer, God the great physician, prayer the best medicine. So we look forward to you folks tomorrow to join us again as we kick off the Reiki, self-care, it's just moving energy, and some of you will feel that energy as you're doing it. Today, enjoy the progressive muscle relaxation, the crickets, the 478, all the beautiful grounding that we're doing to staying fully alive, mind, body, spirit, find pure peace in the presence of Jesus and leading with love. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus sana, hallelujah, peratones, hallelujah, el mundo, amen. Jesus sana. Many blessings with much love. Thank you for the privilege of your time.